Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I test each individual Dago board. I 3D printed and designed this stand that helps me test each board without having to solder anything. The board sits like this and then with this piece I connect the headers to the board without having to solder anything. And to assure this piece won't move, I use a rubber band. After that, I just use this little screw to make sure nothing moves. To flash the dagger board, we need a USB to TTL converter. I highly recommend you use the CP2102 converter such as this. To put the board in flash mode, we hold the reset button and press the boot button and release both of them. So again, is reset and hold, boot and let go of, of the two of them. To make sure we are in flash mode, the serial monitor should print waiting for download. I'm going to upload the latest version of the firmware and test all its functionalities. When pressing the buttons of the dagger board, make sure you don't touch any of the electronics, especially this little IC U3 because it can damage the board. Once the firmware is done uploading, hit the reset button once and the board will go into position control mode. Before I test any of the other functionalities, what I like to do is write the MAC address of this board. This is a unique number of that each board has and I do this to um, make sure I've tested each board and to separate which boards I've tested and which boards I have not and to later on do an ESP now communication test. So this is the MAC address of this particular board. We're in position control mode and the board is seemingly working properly. We can test voltage mode. And we can also test velocity mode. 1 radian per second, 2 radians per second, 3 radians per second, 10, 50, but 0. And we can go back to position control. Full turn, minus full turn. The next things that I have to test is the temperature sensor and the voltage sensor. For this, I'll just print a few values on the serial monitor to see that everything seems to be working okay. Last thing that I like to test is just make sure that I can send commands to the board through ESP now with my ESP now controller. It seems to be working as expected. If there are any updates to the firmware, you should be able to find the newest version on the GitHub repository.